<laughs> what is up, chat? What is up? Oh, first time chat, Nuclear Rabbit. First time chatter, welcome. Welcome, Nuclear Rabbit. What's everybody up to? Megatherium redeeming the first Werehog. Setting the tone. Hope you had a good Christmas, y'all. Just gonna play more Dragon Quest because it's the best. Because it's the absolute best. All in or doubling down on humanity. And axes. <laughs> and I, we can't neglect axes. But that is how much we value humanity, is that we're willing to sacrifice the axe for humanity. Humanity's getting the bulk. It's getting the bulk of the points. We're here, we're back. We're back. We're back in the comfy, the cozy confines. Is that, the, is that Wrigley Field? Cozy confines? Fenway. Well, we're back in the cozy confines of Dragon Quest Eight. You know, I was sleeping last night slash this morning, and I remember like, and, and I, I thought about it too last time we played, but I didn't say anything. There's like that house on the waterfall cave. I remember going there back in the day. We didn't do it this time, so we're gonna do that now. Yeah, we didn't do that. So we're gonna do that. And I swear, I remember something. I have this weird memory. 82 months, see now. Love and respect to you. I have this, there it is. I have this weird memory of something in the church in Fairbury. Something We checked it last time. I think I'm just thinking of the chest. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But like hazy recollection of that area being important somehow. No, I'm gonna scope it out a little more. If I don't find it, I'll ask you. I will throw up signal flares though from time to time. Yeah, zoom height. Okay, my PS2, it'll turn up. It's gotta turn up. I'm gonna try to get down, I'll find it. Got my memory card on there, dude. Just... Which is funny, you know? Everyone, like. Um... Protects their memory cards, right? It's like a big thing, you know, your old saves, your old memory cards. But I feel like every time I go back to a game. I like doing just a fresh, fresh save. Fresh save! Who needs those saved games from back in the day? Who needs them? Although it would be nice if I had Honk in or <laughs> original RE2. It's that shit. Actually, someone last time told me it's just an eight game. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. Seeing it next year. Waited this long, I'm seeing it next year. Every show is sold out, dude. Every show is sold out. Which is nice because it's giving me an internet detox. I haven't really been on the internet other than to post a quick thing on Twitter regarding streams and shit. Like, I have not been on the internet, dude. And it feels nice. Shout out to Brad Ellis for hooking up that PS3 with Dragon Quest 8 right now, chat. This is Easy Allies presents Dragon Quest 8 with special thanks to Bradley Ellis. Straight up. 
Because I'm my copy is in my my missing PS2. So my missing PS2 is out there with Dragon Quest VIII just sitting in it, dude. What the fuck? It's vulnerable. It's scared. Yeah, I can't sit within, like, five seats of a stranger in a movie theater, or else I'll, like, have a fucking full-blown panic attack. Full-blown panic attack. Shortness of breath. Heart beating out of my chest, dude. Sweat. No way. Yep, Okami. My, one of, my Yakuza 2 is missing. J number 2. It's like, what the fuck? My MGS4. So many games, dude. Just fucking, where are they? Gone. Gone. Took him to work one day, never saw him again. Let a buddy borrow him, never saw him again. That's it. Dude, we got a racer? I didn't even realize. Embracer. Probably the same as the earrings, huh? Same. Same. Give it to Yangus. MGS4, but I did recover the NES signed copy, which I also thought was lost, but it turned up. It turned up. So there's that. There is good news amidst all this bad news. NES signed copy showed itself. Look at this guy. I don't know if I can get visitors all the way up here. Well, now that you're here, maybe I could ask you a little favor. Okay, I'm only gonna say this once, so clean out your ears and get listening. If you go outside and look at the view from the top of the mountain, you should be able to spot a tree with red leaves. I had a bit of a kip there when I was out the other day, and it seems I left my tool bag behind. I don't expect you to do this for free, of course. I'll be able to give you a small reward. I'll be waiting here in my hut for you to bring it back. Try not to take too long. Hell yeah. Dude, your gold copy. That... Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> that is like... That's equal to like... Ten losses. That's 10 losses right there, Brad. That's... You lose 10... You lose 10 games outright, or you lose your gold ocarina. <laughs> For a red tree. There it is. Look at that, dude. Environmental questing. No waypoints is so nice. We don't have a quest log, dude. Like, there's just something more natural about it. I don't know. I love a good contextualized quest log, though, like a journal or a book. You know? Not just some weird menu of quests. No, put that shit in the game. Character is writing the quest down in a journal. You know what? Now's a good time to rock. 
can never do this. Holy water, dude. Let's rock it. Good time for this. Red trees far. Was it across the bridge? It was like over there, right? I think. Dude, I did not look at my compass when I was up on the hill. Fatal mistake. I hope it's right and not left. This holy water's paying off though. chat. I could have sworn, though, the bridge was the landmark. What? What on earth? Maybe it was this way. Next month, dude. I forget. January seems pretty big. It's about to pop off. I wish I'm watching X Files, dude. That's all I need. Well, they're in Skelly. out there, Mulder. But so are lies. So good. Dude, it's a wipe. This is a wipe. Full wipe. Full do-over, dude. this time. Oh, 
I've never called in sick to play a game. Never not. Because it's better when you finish the thing and then play. You know? I gotta vividly remember... Finishing class. And picking up Arkham Asylum. Good day. Okay, let's not botch it this time, huh? We're getting paid right now, though. That's nice. Was it MGS4? Wasn't it The Witcher 3? I remember game trailers like everyone being on the head. Witcher maybe? Oh yeah. DRD, 65 months. Respect to you. told me Violent Night is on demand for like 20 bucks. such a landmark. That small little bridge. Staying on this side of the river. Maybe. See, I don't know if it, like, daps there. Snowblower person in chat, I really want to hear the end of that story. 1 a.m. Snowblowing neighbor. It's one of the most unhinged moves, man. I can't get it out of my head. It reminds me of that scene in Christmas Vacation when Griswold is uh, chainsawing the tree. <laughs> Shit on Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, all the holidays. Minicus, 30 months. The hell was Arbor Day? What is that one? Is it like Tree One or something? Right? 
picturing trees. So menacing. And no damage. I'm here right now. Through like ten. Maybe. Wish it was my first playthrough. Can wish. This guy's tools. And shit done. Christmas, anybody? Any gifts? Got a couple of shirts. And some C's candies. And that's about it. This year. Look at my shirts. Got a super stream. Oh, thanks. The Art of Princess Mononoke. Singing good? Hell yeah. Bunch of anime figures and posters. Nice. Every year my mom gets me a year subscription to PC Gamer. That's another game. Switch OLED myself. Close, it's tempting. Get those tools. Yep, this is the one. This is definitely my tool bag. Thanks. I suppose I'd better give you that reward I promised. Hey, you there! That little mouse you've got there is no normal mouse. It's your pet, is it? Right. Here. 
Have this cheese as your reward. He replaces eight pieces of cheese in the bag. It may just be plain old cheese, but that mouse of yours is sure to like it. And I could be wrong, but try giving it some next time you've got yourself into a fight with some monsters. You never know what might happen. Anyway, that's enough nose out of me. Noise out of me. Thanks again for bringing my bag back. You still here? Sorry. Munchie, you say? Well, well, now there's an interesting name. Great character. Can you, like, go back and visit him? Like, does some shit? Something? Jessica get to. That diabolical Domegus, he's a cold-blooded killer, a soulless savage, a vile villain of the highest order. We haven't a moment to lose. We must catch that rogue if it's the last thing we do. He'll soon feel the crushing blow of my wrath. Let's head out. Dude, my family and I were talking about strokes tonight, like, a lot, for like, 15 minutes. My grandpa had one, like, everyone in my entire grandpa's side has had a stroke. So I'm like, prone. Prone to that. We all took our blood pressure, dude. Christmas night, blood pressure. I'm 40 yet. I mean, yeah, my grandma had it when he was like 50s, and then he got a pacemaker. He's got a pacemaker now. He was he was fortunate for sure. Usually open presents in the morning, uh, today though I did it late, usually in the morning though. Through all your luggage and your horse as well. And then once you defeated that monster, go on through then. No need to stand on ceremony.
took you so long. You're ready now, right? If you're ready, let's hurry up and get going. Come on, then. Then let's get going. We have to hurry and catch up with Dolmegus. Actually, before we go, I have a favor to ask. Join up! You're after Dolmegus, just like I am, right? We're fighting for the same reasons. So, I was thinking, why don't we do this together? I haven't been studying magic for long, but I still have a lot to offer. What do you say? I've got a great feeling about this. Thanks, guys. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's go. Just where do you think you're going without me and my beautiful princess? <laughs> All hands on deck! Way anchor! Prepare to set that, sail you know. for Peregrine Key! Ah, there you are. So what are you two up to? Up to? Me and the Gav was just talking, that's all. Gav, huh? I've been meaning to ask you about that. You know, he doesn't exactly look like your governor. If anything, it looks the other way around. What's the story? Well, I'm glad you asked. The story of how me and the Gav fell in together is an epic tale, full of laughter, frills and tears. It is, is it? Well, why don't you just give me the highlights? All right, I Turn will. Time. It all started on a fine summer's day. The sound of insects was deafening. I just decided to make a clean break of it. I was well act off with the old bandithood. So I decided to leave the town that I lived in my whole life and start a fresh life. Yeah, I guess Origins, dude. Mm-hmm. I ain't exactly a looker, as you can see. Perhaps that's why people treat me funny. Everywhere I went. Like I was a thief or something. I didn't have no place to go. And not a penny to me name, neither. So I ended up going back to the old game. <laughs> And that's when I run into the Gav here. Hold it right there. Who gave you permission to use my bridge then, eh? Permission? Permission? Your bridge lies within my kingdom, you oaf. What are you on about? A creepy old codger like you? A king? Don't make me laugh. I see your mouth is as vulgar as your face. Yes, I'm the king. And who exactly do you think you are? Me? Hearing my name is enough to make anyone wet their knickers. That's right. You're talking to none other than Yangus, the legendary bandit himself. Yangus? The one and only. Time to cough up. You have to pay if you want to cross my bridge. The one and only Yangus. What a shame there aren't more of you. Now kindly remove your one and only <laughs> self from my bridge <laughs> and clear off. Mm, don't push your luck, you green-faced freak. I would have let you go if you'd have kept your gob shut and paid up. But you want to do this the hard way, eh? <laughs> now, my boy, now's our chance to cross. kill shot, dude. Soul Crusher, thanks for the sub. Mm. 
just more blade luck. Now that's what I call just desserts. As the saying goes, crime doesn't pay. Let us carry on then, my boy. There, there, my precious Medea. Did the bad man scare you? Hell yeah. What are you doing? But he attacked us! Why the devil are you helping him? Just leave him! It's poetic justice! Nay, divine justice! Poetic justice. <sighs> Thank you, Gabna. I thought I was done for. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Yangus, was it? You can show your gratitude by getting out of our sight. <laughs> You're having a laugh. What? Still here? If you won't do us the favor of leaving, I'll be happy to provide some encouragement. Mister? No, no, Governor. I really owe you. You saved my life and everything. You're the bee's knees, Gav. <laughs> Gav? What is this nonsense? Are you a complete imbecile? This boy is my retainer. If you're in anyone's service, it's mine. Put a sock in it. I ain't talking to you. He's the one who saved me. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Who do you think you're speaking to, you, you good-for-nothing scoundrel? So that's how you met. But what happened to all the laughter, thrills and tears? Well, I'm not finished yet. This is the best bit. I haven't told you about how the Gav helped me go straight. Whatever. You can tell me all about it later. Right now, I need some fresh air. I should have known a bird wouldn't get a story <laughs> like ours, Gav. Still, no skin off my nose. Bones. I'm ready to go all in on Skull and Bones. I'm ready to grind the ladders. seen such a fine beast. The more I look at her, the more elegant she seems. Ferryman. 
Whenever I set sail from Port Prospect, I always see a tiny island. The island is but a tiny speck in the vast ocean, but in fact a small building, perhaps even a castle, appears to be standing there. Who'd live in a place like that? Dude, need my mini medals. Loss. That monster-like creature has gone and made himself comfortable in my room. Doesn't a captain command any respect nowadays? I've asked him over and over again to leave, but he just says that someone more important than he, me, needs the use of it. He's gone and strewn his luggage all over the place as well. The cheek of it. and the like to enormous vessels like this. It's absolutely fascinating. Listen to me going on. I have end up musing about civilization when I'm on a boat. It must be the sea air. I like that. Do I go straight on to Maliaobi for the stri straight life, or do I go down, down to good old Pick'em Town? I suppose this is like a crossroads in my life, really. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Cleared up nice today, huh? This is boat travel at its best. It's days like these that make me think how the life of a sailor ain't half bad. Hey, that girl over there looking out at the sea, is it really Miss Jessica from Alexandria? I thought so, what a turn up for the books that is. She's every sailor's dream. I never thought I'd get to see her up close. I was just looking out across the sea and thinking about Domegus. I wonder why he went over to the southern continent. And I wonder what we'll be waiting for us when we get there. It makes me nervous just thinking about it. timing. I've got something to show you. Ta-da! Looks like a normal pot, doesn't it? But it's actually a legendary alchemy pot. I can see that doesn't mean much to you. Allow me to explain. The alchemy pot is an invaluable tool for making different kinds of items. It lets you mix different ingredients. Do we have to those ingredients? Hard to find items, armor, it's like telling and us weapons. to put those in there. After my kingdom was cursed, I thought it might come in handy and managed to spirit it out of the castle. Well done. But that's not all. I spent night after night trying to get it working again. Uh, no, no, you can thank me later. Right. Well, it's in my carriage. So why don't you give it a try? It's surprisingly it's right easy there. to use. What are you talking about? Captain, land ho! Belay the rigging and prepare to make Belay port. Belay the rigging and prepare to make port. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Level 3 mic, 72 months. Helmsman, bring us alongside Peregrine Key. Helm to 108. Belay that order.
totally gonna have an alchemy recipe guide up. No shame whatsoever. Don't give a shit. It looks like we've arrived. I'll meet you outside town with Medea and the carriage. Jeez. Yeah, we need the chess key, dude. We need it the most. It wouldn't do to stir up the natives most again with my... Item. Extraordinary appearance. Hey, Kaylee, 13 months. Thanks for joining, everybody. Hope you're having a good Christmas, wherever you may be. Tiring, did you? At least you got here safely at any rate. Smash her shop. Take her money. saved once this entire stream let's do that lock that in let's lock that save in there it is bet your ass I wish to proceed Yeah, we have more wi Oh, we're level 12, though. She only has one less wisdom, and she's three levels below us. <clears throat> Dang, that means we're a little over-leveled. Feels good. I'm still gonna pop it. Hell yeah. Two. And MP. Hell yeah. Good levels. goodness oh you can only have one at a time okay oh my god we got more seeds in here shit 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 <laughs> I think we gotta stack our hero a little more but dude she's low on health but our hero needs to live if the hero goes down it is catastrophic so I'm gonna pump him a little more. Then on the next round, we get some seeds. We'll uh, reevaluate, pump up some other people. I think that's better, right?
don't think she can equip. She can, nice. Dope. That's what it goes. Weapon, armor, shield, helmet. Weapon, armor, shield. Yeah, gotta get this right, Chad. It's like Resident Evil. <laughs> so we need an accessory for Jessica. Anything will do. Get this crafting going, Jack, because it takes time. Worried about the alchemy pot, were you? Never fear, both it and I are in tip top shape. Now, form an image in your mind of what you'd like to make and choose the ingredients carefully. Yeah. Or just look it up, you nutcases. Recipes. Gotta find the recipes, dude. Need them. Just start with a basic medicinal herb. Nice and basic. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Love it. Yeah, classic Resident Evil vibes there, dude. A couple green herbs, dude. Double green herb. Stick to what you know. Get them in there. We got it in the oven. Seed of defense, dude. Seeds are popping. Gotta give it to the hero yet again. Resilience. 14, 14, 9. Honestly, giving a defense to Jessica might not be that crazy. Stack our hero, though. We need it. He needs to take the blows. Just plugged in my OG PS3. Any must-have PS1 or 3 games? Is the store still open? First time chat, by the way. Love and respect. Is the PS3 store open, chat? I think they might have shut it down. Maybe? It might be open. I hope it is, too. Dude, that Oaken Club is an upgrade, but we lose our axe abilities. Oh wait, no, it's the basic, it's standard. Never mind. I think they went back on that choice. Great, great. Great, great news. I mean, all the Resident Evils, one through three, must-haves. Silent Hill 1 is on there. Metal Gear Solid is on there. All original versions, all PS1, excellent games. Yeah, I really like the PS1 classics on PS3. Shit's clean. Weapon shop. Thorn 
lit, dude, right out of the gate. Scythe. It's a pretty nice upgrade. I think we're gonna stick to magic, though. I don't think Dragon Quest VII is on the U.S. shop. Can somebody confirm that? I don't think it is. That's a tough one to track down, seven. I feel like the disc is the best way. DQ seven, dude, 100 hour game, settle in. Uh, 3DS, there's a version. And there's also an iOS Android version in Japan only. But uh, PlayStation and 3DS, hard copy, Probably a both. I doubt it's on the 3DS eShop. Yeah, I'd love to play through that. Definitely. Fragments of the Forgotten Past is its subtitle. So sick. Yeah, the 3DS one's a remake, too. It's weird. For the original, you know, those p chunky PS1 vibes. Sold 4 million units, dude. 2001. By April, dude. Couple months. Best-selling PlayStation game in Japan. It was the first main series Dragon Quest title to be released outside Japan since the release of Dragon Quest IV in North America in 92, dude, a full eight years earlier. God. The last Dragon Quest title to be released in North America with the Dragon Warrior name and the last Dragon Quest game outside of Japan to be published. It's crazy. The scale armor is looking enticing, dude, but I am still gonna be a nut job and not spend any cash. I mean, we could be here all day talking about PS1 through 3, and there's hundreds of games. I say the essentials, though. That's what I say. Your Metal Gears, your Resident Evils, your Ratchet and Clanks. You know? Your essentials. Even like, yeah, Resistance, Infamous, Killzone, Jack and Daxter, like that's all that era, dude. That shit is sick. Sly Cooper. Fucking all of it. It's a magazine called The Sailors. Uncharted, obviously, Last of Us. An exclusive interview. Maybe don't play the PS3 version of Last of Us, probably PS4. Man, now that the dust is settled, dude. You know, ask me in a few months. It's it's gonna it's gonna be telling. In a few months, will I wanna play Last of Us Remake or Last of Us Remastered? I don't know. An exclusive interview with the lovely and lively Miss Ms. Red, a rich adventuress who owns her very own pirate or er, private ship. Ms. Red was kind enough to give us a personal tour of the classy lady. She confided to us, you wouldn't believe what I I had to go through to get this ship, I can tell ya. On second thoughts, I better not tell ya. Statute of limitations ain't quite run out yet. 
All I can say is this. I'd give me left arm to keep hold of this old beauty. It's fucking titled Herbal Concoctions! Did you know that you can improve the effect of, of the herbs you purchase in shops? Yes, alchemy is the answer. Here's a basic combination. Many other ways to combine medicinal and antidotal herbs as well. Hell yeah. Give us those recipes! Well, that bit Francesco at Maella Abbey is a truly remarkable man. If you climb to the top of this building, you'll be able to get an idea of where the Abbey is. You'll probably bump into a girl up there. She spends every day just gazing over at the Abbey. Never seems to get bored of it. Such a cozy inn, dude. Get out of town! Cozy! Can you imagine a remake of this, dude? Like a PS5, PS6 remake? <laughs> oh my god. Unreal Engine 5, dude. Dragon Quest 8, Unreal Engine 5? There it is. Bum, 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 bum. If I'm not mistaken, that's strong medicine. Jolly good show. Keep it up. Hell yeah. something. Fucking love resistance. Fall of man, dude. Resistance fall of man. Let's remaster those. Come on. It's ridiculous. If you're interested in alchemy, you should always try to have a look through any bookshelves you come across. Damn right. You'll find alchemy recipes all over the place once you start looking. It's kind of a bit confusing when you find more than a few, so make sure you write them down so you don't forget them. There's no need to look like that. You'll jot them down without even thinking about it. It's no hardship. While you're here, you should probably think about buying the odd bronze knife or two. It could come in useful with the old alchemy pot. Bronze knife. Yeah, didn't we pick one of those up? Bronze knife. Hint, hint. Yeah, isn't the bronze knife with the key? It is! 100%! I know this. It's bronze knife and something. It's bronze knife and... Iron nail. Gotta find that nail. Yo, nail is a weird character in Dragon Ball Z. But pretty badass. Nail and Dende Bond, dude. I'm all about it. You've probably heard of the Templars, right? No. Really? You've never heard of them? I can tell you all about them. Templars live at Maela Abbey, which is just over that way. They're there to keep the peace at the Abbey and make sure no harm comes to Abbot Francisco. Frances Fran They're also strong and clever and really good looking, too. They're the coolest of the cool. Why don't you go and see for yourself? I spend every day gazing at the Abbey and imagining them over there. Freaking 
trunks, dude. Incoming. Trunks. I just want to see if it adds this one when we make it. I hope it does. I hope we don't like physically have to find the recipe for it to be added. I don't think you do. You should add it. Jessica tag along. You know what birds are like, always moaning about being tired and their feet aching. They're a right pain. To be honest, I'd much rather it just be us three blokes, but there you go. Ain't up to me, I suppose. I don't have time to mess around here. With every passing second, Dolnais is getting further from our grasp. We have to find him fast. It's good that we were able to secure a passage across the sea, but there are still no clues as to Dolmagus' whereabouts. There's nothing for it. You have to just go to a place with lots of people and start asking questions. To the Abbey! Miss something. Sure, what did I miss? Only if you guarantee I missed it. Only if you can guarantee it. ingredient is in the place, right? Alrighty. Talking about Broshiro. Don't waste my time, dude. Alright, you got it, you got it. Nice. I don't care about what's inside, but if I can't use the chest, then I can't do business! In your nail, bro. Nope. Nothing, dude, nothing. Nothing. Wasting my time.
Probably gonna go stabs with Jessica. I like going swords with Angelo because it cramps my hero's style. hits so hard. There it is. Hiding out in the stable. <laughs> Night Ops. A little more intense. Soon, chat. Didn't get that. Oh, go back. I've not played all the Dragon Quest games. No, I played one Dragon Warrior. Uh, four, five, six, nine, eight, eleven. I feel like my really good friend had seven. I always like or did I play 3DS seven? Seven is such a blur in my mind. I wanna say my friend had the PS1 version, and then I maybe later played the 3DS one. But not. Fuck! 
careless. Looks like we're going back now, chat. So what happens when you're out at night. tonight chat wherever you may be Christmas just a little Dragon Quest too yeah, it says Christmas like Dragon Quest all right we're looking for a hooded fella this guy stick around here this guy dude yeah he's back in the end I decided to stick around here pretending to be a thief but really being your proper upright citizen pretty clever huh now I've quit my life of crime, I might as well give you this. We got it. For any thief worth his salt can use that to unlock stuff, but your average man on the street ain't got no idea what to do with it. But if you're clever and you mix it with something else, maybe you'll be able to get it to work for you. You'll have to figure that out for yourself, though. Anyway, I'm on the straight and narrow now, so it's all yours. It's got a lot of history, that nail, so make sure you don't go and lose it, huh? Uh, healing seed I should just give to her. So it should be a little chill. A little more chill. Asian Chungi, 72 months. Thanks so much. Yeah, that, that was presidential sweet prices, seriously. can get out of hand. It's just so chill. Couple ingredients, dude. Nothing overwhelming. There's not like a million things you're picking up. And you find recipes just in the world and talking to people. It's 
see we have a seed in there. Do it! Get him buff. Goddess Lightning, how may our church assist you? Maybe the 3DS version or something? I bet there's more costumes than that. Twentieth anniversary, dude, coming up. I have faith. Triangle S8 will reveal itself in some form. Souls 2, nice, Finnegus. What's your build? Where are you at? Build and location now. Anytime you mention Dark Souls, if you're playing it, it should be automatic details provided. Dragon Tooth, Broom Tower. Nice. Nice. Finishing up Judgment. Nice, nice. Good vibes. Yeah, before Goaties, I'm gonna do a mage build in Elden Ring. Just fuck around. Something just completely different than what I did. Dude, where's Dragon Quest XII? What's the latest? What's the latest news? Any updates? What a business thing to say. One day ago. Dragon Quest creator hints treasures could lead to more Dragon Quest XI spin-offs. So business. Hey, if you go out and buy it, we sell a bunch, we'll make more. <laughs> I'll say, all right. Two weeks ago, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake news. 
coming soon. Teases series creator. I can't say much yet. Yes, dude. Yes. We're all in, chat. We're all in. We're working hard on Dragon Quest 12 and Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. That's exciting, dude. That's two games, chat. I can't say much yet, but we might be able to deliver more news on DQ3 soon. Hell yeah. Sick. That's good vibes, dude. That's such good vibes. That is great news for Dragon Quest, dude. 12 and 3 remake. And 3 looks gorgeous. Didn't they add Yangus or something in Dragon Quest Heroes 2? Who could you play as? Or what characters were in there? Where'd Yangus show up again? I feel like he just showed up in a spinoff. Or maybe Jessica did. Probably thinking of Jessica, huh? No, Dragon Quest Heroes 2, dude! Yangus! Hell yeah. Great vibes. I'll leave you with the Witcher 3 lighting here. CD Projekt Red said they played Dragon Quest 8 for inspiration on sunsets and sunrises. I'm totally kidding. I'm 100% kidding. It's, it's a joke.
made it, made it through the night. 30 days of night. Oh, goddess lightning. Have I not paid enough? Please let me be rid of the debt collector and the foul sea once and for all. Almighty goddess lightning. Now may I be welcome at the gates of heaven when I pass from this world. I have paid 5,000 gold coins. <laughs> My El Abbey is the most important place of worship on this continent. Like you, I have traveled far to pray here. Unwashed vagrants are not permitted to approach the holy altar. <clears throat> may the goddess strike you down. This is exactly why the Templars need to guard it. Nut. No, but I will be watching Blood Origin. I will be watching it. I even watched the anime one, dude. The Vesemir one. That one was sick. Oh, you came over here on the ferry, did you? I do love boats. Here at Myella Abbey, we offer a repose for this spirit. If it is repose for the body you seek, may I suggest that you go across the river and take lodgings in Simpleton. Myella Abbey is a sacred place under the divine protection of lightning. Live your secular life at the door and pray for her mercy. Weight of sin bears down upon you. May I suggest a contribution of gold to the abbey? This will please the goddess lightning and she will grant you an indulgence. So I'm playing 13 tonight. I wish. Thirteen still looks so good. Don't you love when games are super old and they still look insane? Like Batman Arkham Knight? That game's kinda old, man. It looks fucking amazing. But like 13 specifically, I mean that was a generation. Two generations ago. Damn! That was so long ago. 13, dude. 2009. It's a 2009 game. I saw if people modded 13 on PC, like, it looks just ridiculous. Pretty much mod any game and make it look crazy. But even just like the normal version of the game. Looks really nice. Yeah, any Final Fantasy, dude. It's got that budget. It's got that high budget. Mini Metal! Is that our first? Pretty sure. Momentous occasion, chat. First Mini Metal. 99 to go? Oh! Payday! Big payday. Big bada boom. Dun, dun, dun. Nice. Nice. Can we do two strongs? I don't think you can. Let's try it out. Oh. Alright. Let's see what's up. Let's see what it is. Yeah, she knows it's a multi-pass. Jolly recipes, dude. Filling it up. I love filling up the recipe book. Back corner over here. 
seems correct. I think I've told this story 15 times in my career, but if you don't know it, Brad and I went to Disneyland one time way back. Way back in the day. And <laughs> we are getting off Thunder Road Mountain. No, we're getting on it. Sorry. We're getting on it. We're getting on Big Thunder Road. And this guy gets on as well. And he just starts like yawing at us. Like, yeah! Yeah! And then we get off. And he does it again. But it's like. It's like a jolly. Yeah! <laughs> like. Like a, like a horse, you know? Like a yeah! Yeah! But it was, like, friendly. It wasn't aggressive or, like, hostile. You know? Because you can tell the vibes. <laughs> it was, like, jolly vibes, dude. So good. Yeah, he's demanding donations from me now, you know? Never used to be the case. Not when the old Templar captain was in charge. They want cash. Uh, it is the anniversary of your grandmother's passing. Let us hold a special match. Naturally, there will be... The small matter of a fee. Yeah. Halt! Who goes, Who goes there? there? I don't know you. What are you doing? Here? Scum. Geralt would cut these guys down, dude. You need special permission to Geralt's ready to cut him down. Leave now, unless you want to die by a Templar sword. I ordered you to keep strangers out, not to be rude. We have a reputation. Do you want to sully the name of the Templars? Hello. I'm sorry, Captain. I apologize for the heavy-handedness of my men. We've had some trouble with strangers of late. Our duty is to protect That's the Abbey. Menacing. We cannot permit nameless travelers to wander around at will. Nameless travelers to wander around at will. Matters within the Abbey are trouble enough. But that's no concern of yours. These are the Templars' quarters, anyway. I trust you have no business here, so I would ask you to leave. I warn you, my men are ill at ease. I may not be able to stop them next time. Curse you! Now I'm in the captain's bad books. Get out of here. Get wrecked. Captain Marcello is the presiding head of the Templars as the most able man among us. He was appointed by Abbot Francisco to act as his aide. He is entrusted to carry out the majority of the Holy Father's business. So he's got a lot of power. Scope it out at night.
Everything about it. Everything about this game. The music, the graphics, the characters, the combat, the story. All the systems, dude. All the crafting, the XP, the skills, the items, the economy. All of it. Everything. Everything about it. Whole game. Everything comes together to make perfection. chest. There's a chest. the anime so I'm not like caught up so I can only be so excited I'm excited for Brad though sex appeal dude <laughs> my goodness dude, knives some assassin but knives are pretty hype Honestly, just like stabbing bosses. Equip to your maximum MP and magic attack power will increase. The skill is a boon for learning all sorts of spells, yeah. Just all in, dude. All in immediately. Meds. Special medicine. Restores 90 or more HP. Nice. Nice. Yo, I know Cypress Stick does something, dude. Does something. Let's try some holy water. Let's see what's up. Double holy water. Takes a while. Can I 
good to have. We're good to have on hand. There it is. Ponytail, that's an accessory. Agility. Sure, why not? Gotta do that every time. Yeah, it doesn't blow away. <clears throat> oh shit. Sometimes. Shouldn't get out of hand, dude. Jinglings. You can get nuts. Find Omegas, I want you to let me take him on alone. I'm not making that promise. I guess you're right. He's not your regular bad guy. I guess there's no way I can defeat him all by myself. But still, I want to be the one to make him pay, you know? For what he did to Alistair. Most of the folk that go praying at my lab, you stay over at Simpleton. There used to be a bit more going on around here in the old days. But that's about the only place left now. So if we go to Simpleton, we'll probably be able to find out more about the Abbey. Genius, eh? 
Stone out clues is don't Domegus' whereabouts. <laughs> if only I didn't look like this, I wouldn't have to rely on you. No doubt I'd get some answers if people knew I was king. Still, it can't be helped that my retainers seem to find the simplest tasks impossible. Just keep at it until you get a lead, Huber. Rude. Get that scum! Make him pay! Turn to the beginning. What are you two coming in the back way, huh? Front doors around the other side. You must be new to this game, huh? Yeah. I knew it. How about I give you a few pointers to get you started? Have a load of weapons and armor knocking about in your bag won't do you any good. You've got to equip yourself. What made me play it? Christmas. Christmas vibes. It's a comfort. It's a life comfort. You are still on your travels and looking well. Well, the great Calderasha is great once more. I am back to my former glory. It's all because of my old crystal ball back. I have you to thank for that. And Valentina, of course. I love going back to the people in these in JRPGs. I'm in your debt, and I would like to repay you. I cannot offer you money, but if you are ever to if you ever lost or unsure of where you should go, come to visit me. I will guide you. Oh hello, you've come back. How nice to see you. My father is so passionate about his fortune telling again now, it's really wonderful to see. I'm even starting to worry that he might be working himself a little too hard. Merry Christmas, y'all. Hope you're having a good uh, day, wherever you are. One of my favorite towns, Ninja Coon. 
So freaking cozy. I expect you've heard the sad news already. Riley's passed away in the recent fire. Work of a criminal. Just between you, me, and Lightning, but Rallis was related to one of the great sages. If he was murdered, then that would end one of the ancient bloodlines of the great sages. I'm not sure what it means in the greater scheme of things, but I'm sure of one thing. No good shall come of it. Dude. So intense. Mini medals. Mini medals. Oh, there it is. That's funny. Have I played high on life? No, I have not. I don't play high on life. But I kind of want to. around here, dude. Where could they be? Oh, 3PO! Where could he be? Two treasures, dude. But where? Where? Swear to me. You know, I haven't checked the... the, 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 the inn. I have not checked the inn. Do I look like a cop? Humanity helping us sniff out these treasures. Song. Hopes your dreams for twelve. Um, definitely monster stuff, like someone earlier said. Good monster hunting, monster arena, monster battle. Obviously a hype as shit casino. Damn, can't find those last two. those rune watch. I don't think I went into the armor shop though, actually. I think we got one building unaccounted for. Is there an armor shop upstairs? No. We did bar, weapon. Armor shop's just a little tent.
chest over here. Remember, there's a locked one. That was the bar, or the weapon shop. There's a back entrance. We got two chests. Unless there's maybe another one. drama. I don't like getting bogged down in little details like that. Gotta keep moving. We searched. We looked. Move on. Thanks, uh, Mangle. It's 37 months. All well, respect to you. Everyone's having a good night. Just out in the night sky. Looking for a treasure chest. I'm pretty sure it's over here. No, we already got that. Shit. I don't remember where it is. It was like north of here somewhere. So be it. We'll check the towns though. Doing a full town revisit before we head out. Now that we have our thief's key. Gotta give a little sniff. A little sniff. Nothing. It's all been pinched. Looks like it's all been pinched. Yo, what up, kids? Trusty, I didn't know you were... Sorry, Baggers, I'm only dropping in for a bit. I've still got a long way to go. I haven't avenged Officer's death. I'm getting closer, but it's gonna take time. It's okay, we're being guards until you come back. By the time you get back properly, me and Mash will be the best guards ever. It's all been pinched. Sniff it. It's all been pinched. This one's up here. Go to sleep. It's like a vampire is calling out to her, dude. One day I'm gonna go on the ferry and sail all the way to the northern continent. Claudia. Yo, chat, if you have not watched an interview with a vampire, I highly recommend the movie and the show, of course. But I'm mainly time talking about the show. So damn good. So damn good. Strong meds.
three chests. Where do I find them? <clears throat> gonna check the ship. Oh, it's right here. Here we go. We made it, buddy. Boomerang. Wow, now there's a key and a half. Who'd have thought it'd open up my chest? You've really got me out there. Go on, why don't you keep the contents? They're all yours. What? What kind of hustle are you pulling, bro? What's the catch? Any metal. Thanks so much. With all my chests out of action, I was in a right pickle. Then you came along and opened them all. Thanks so much. Just take whatever you want from inside. It's the least I can do to pay you back. Now I can finally get back to work at last. Thanks again. Dude, we just took all this shit. This exorbitant fee. Brutal. Pay up. I can't go in yet. Were there some in the lobby? I don't think there were. We'll be back anyway. Many times. Head off to Simpleton first. Humanity. Humanity. We gotta get axes up as well. Axes and humanity. Nervous. We're gonna get too far behind the axes. Need a hatchet, man. Iron Woodsman. Hatchet, man! Hatchet, man! Humanity is hope, dude. Humanity is hope for society. We must put the points in humanity. Welcome, pilgrims. You are now entering Simpleton. Hatchet Man! 
must be done. Shit, man, dude. Sick. It'll get there, dude. It'll, it'll get there. Hatchet man. Good one, dude. One of my favorite towns. This used to be a really lively little town. That all changed when the Lord of the Manor passed away. It was the plague that got him, you know. But it hasn't done the cock and bull any harm. Night and day all year, the cock and bull? <laughs> Night and day, all year round you'll find me here, serving the good people of Simpleton all the booze they can hold. things around here about 10 years ago was a right nasty piece of work. A corrupt, womanizing cheat he was. Everyone was glad when he kicked the bucket. He left a son behind, mind, by the name of Angelo. It's a crying shame for him losing his family at such a young age. Now he's condemned to life at the Abbey. Come to the right place. This is a traveler's paradise. Doesn't really look like it. Alchemy's a real useful skill. You can bung a load of commonplace items into a pot and make some really unusual things that you won't find in any shop. Take strong medicine, for example. You can make it from really cheap ingredients, but sell it for a small fortune. That's something worth remembering. Although you can have too much of a good thing, sell too much of a rarity, and the price will drop because it's not rare anymore. How advanced is that? That's some Shenmue shit. Honestly, dude, Yu Suzuki is pleased. Yu Suzuki is so pleased. The economy, dude, one of the best in the biz. Watch my episode, dude. Watch my economy Huber hype. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Strong meds. Special meds. Sell that shit. 
Selling special medicine on the streets. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Some side hustle. <laughs> I always imagine, like, sleeping in this game. Like, sleeping in JRPGs when you're super young. I would just daydream about this shit chat. Like, sleeping in this back bunk at night, dude. Fireplace over there. Twenty-four. What kind of racket are they running? My goodness. Yo, we've been saving our cash. Feeling good about that. So ends another glass. Time for the next round. It's like six in the morning. The Lord of the Manor used to rule the roaster roaster rooster around here was a truly bad man, yes, bad through and through. His wife couldn't wouldn't give him a child, so he went off and had one with his maid, just so as he'd have an heir. Of course, then his wife did have a child, Angela, they called him, so the firstborn was hung out to dry. The maid was fired, too, of course, and the illegitimate son was packed off to Myla Abbey without so much as a word. It's a terrible tale, if ever there was one. So intense. Hiya, have a seat anywhere you like. I hope Angelo doesn't get himself into trouble. The man he's been playing against looks like a real bruiser. That Angelo fellow might be a Templar, but he certainly likes his drink and his gambling. Not to mention his women. He's a lowlife, all right. Uh, I wish I was him. <laughs> I lost to Angelo again today, just like yesterday and the day before that. Here's to another failure, then. where the shit goes down. That's where we sell our special medicine. <laughs> That's it. Come in and have a drink. Put your feet up and forget about the time. I'll put drinks on the table of anyone who's willing to pay. That's the way I do business. We use this dumbwaiter to bring food and drink up from downstairs. It's awesome. Details. I feel like Bossman would love that detail. That's a Bossman detail. Some dumbwaiter. So sick. Mini medals. Starting to rack them up. Was that three? Four. Four. Only just because I'm from Simpleton, I can't run a successful business, but I'm a decent trader, you know? Wanna buy something? Nice. What do you got, buddy? Chainmail. Five hundred, dude. Too much. Yo, how much is this going for? Damn! 170, dude! Medicinal herbs are four. That's so good. That's so good, dude. Wow. So you get eight for two, or you get 88. Ten times more for a strong medicine than uh, medicinal herb. Ten times more gold. And it's 70, which is weird. 
because you're better off selling two of these until the price goes down, then you can sell special meds. 170 a pop. Shit's crazy. Peddling like this because no one's come to the shop for a while. Oh. Oh my god, 1300. These prices, we've we have not bought one thing, chat. <laughs> Look at these prices. It's so tempting. Until we get a staff. I'm still crafting, so then I'll that'll all be shored up. I'll get, I'll get that all in a row. If Abbot Francisco wasn't protecting him, that unruly playboy would have been expelled from the Abbey long ago. Although that said, the contributions the Abbey receives from wealthy personages would take quite a hit if Angela wasn't in the order. The rich are very peculiar in the way they seem to like hearing prayers read by pretty boy monks. That's kind of disturbing, honestly. Angelo's downstairs gambling again. He's simple. Mind you, I don't suppose we can point the finger. We sneaked out of the Abbey ourselves, and here we are drinking. Almost got this game in the bag. Trunks. What? what? You little run. You must be cheating. Take it easy. No need to get excited. I know it hurts when you lose and all, but yeah, I guess is in his element. What? Oh, I get it. <laughs> You're with him. Oi! You want to watch it? Don't go throwing accusations. Accusations. You don't want to get on my wrong <laughs> side. Take it easy, you guys. What are you, a couple of cavemen? Voice of reason. Ah, oh, what are you doing? Think you'll get away with that just because you're a lady? <laughs> hey, what's with you two, eh? Two blokes ganging up on one bird, behave. That's it, you oaf. Those are my mates. <laughs> You know, back up Yang is with a fireball there, dude. So sick. <laughs> he was ready, dude. 
<laughs> she was ready to blast. So who are you? You don't look like simpletons to me. Anyway, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I managed to pull that little caper off without being caught. He was such an easy mark, I got a bit carried away. Still can't hang around. Don't want any more trouble. What? What are you gawking at? I hope you weren't hurt by my little <laughs> jape. My are you little right? jape? That was a jape. You're out of luck. I'm fine. Apart from you leering at me. By way of thanks for helping me, and as a memento of our encounter, the name's Angelo. I live at Maella Abbey. Show them that ring if you'd like to see me. I'll be expecting you. Au revoir for now. Maella Abbey, all right? Just ask for Angelo. Don't forget. Don't forget. Here you are, Gov. I've been looking all over for Gav. you. Gave that lot what for? <laughs> hey, I hope you don't plan on keeping this ring. We're going to Myella Abbey right now to give it back to that smarmy cheat. Whether he likes it or not. Selected absolutely as chunks. It is just trunks. Treasures around here. We'll see. Oh, you've come to return Angelo's ring? Put it up as credit at the pub again, did he? That boy's a disgrace. Very well, Angelo's inside. Get a move. Our Templar rings are engraved with the emblem of the Abbey. Excuse for a Templar Angelo has been at the pub again. His grog soused breath heaps shame on our Abbey. I suppose you've come to collect on the debts he owes. He's in his room, just at the top of the stairs. The Templars always used their rings as tools since long before the Abbey moved to its current home in the middle of the river. Apparently, they used to use them as keys of some sort back in the old days. Of Lord the Lords. Our sleeping quarters are upstairs. And the dungeon is at the bottom of those steps. That's where we lock up sinners. Locked. I keep telling you to put locking mechanisms on the vehicle doors. You went on a little secret. Though Captain Marcello is not the kind of man to take any nonsense from anyone who never challenged the word of Abbot Francisco. He's been like a father to Marcello, you see. I don't know the full story, but apparently the wealthy family into which Marcello was born gave him up to the Abbey for some reason. Bum, bum, bum! This is the interrogation room. Beyond it is the torture chamber used in days of old to convert heretics to the faith. You're free to enter the interrogation room, but Captain Marcello is using the back room at the moment, so it's off limits.
Well done. You managed to cause another brawl at the Simpleton Pub. I hope you're proud of yourself. News travels fast. What a fine intelligence network the Templars have. How much more shame do you intend to bring to our Abbey? You're like a curse. Yes, a filthy curse. If you hadn't been born, we'd all have been spared a lot of misery. Mm. You're nothing but a petty crook with a pretty face. It sickens me to think we share any common Jesus. blood. <laughs> Enough. Templar Angelo. By order of the yeah, captain, liquid snake you are to a term of penitence. I'm hereby stripping you of your right to leave the Abbey. You do not leave this place. Not for anything. Understood? Cross me on this, and I'll see to it that you're expelled from the Order. And don't think the Abbot will be able to protect you this time. Sketch. I like the little flower in the, the bottle there, the vase. Bottle. Yeah, that's cool. This guy. So his eyes. Our Francisco is a man of the utmost virtue. He embraces all those who have lost their family or are in need of shelter. He gives them a chance to live here as members of the Abbey. people I met at the pub, right? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what are we doing here? You told us to come. Now you can take back this stupid ring and we'll be on our way. My ring? Of course. I can still play that card. Listen, I've got a favor to ask. A favor? <sighs> You're kidding, right? What makes you think we'd want to help you? Just listen, all right? There's no time to argue. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel the sinister presence in the Abbey? I heard that a jester got into the Abbot's residence. I'm convinced he's the source of the sinister air. A jester? I don't know what he's planning to do, but I'm sure Abbot Francisco's life is in danger. You've got to help! I need you to get into the Abbot's residence and make sure that he's alright. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Now listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. You may have seen them already, but there are some obstinate idiots guarding the bridge to the abbot's residence. You can't go that way. But if you're prepared to go the long way around, there is another way to get there. You have to leave the abbey as if you were going to Simpleton, 
but turn immediately left along the river. Just follow the river along, keeping the abbey in view. Keep going along the river and you'll come to a ruin. It's the old abbey that was used before this one. There's an underground passageway leading from there to the abbot's residence. I'm afraid that's the only way. The entrance to the ruin can be opened with the Templar's ring I gave you. So you just keep hold of it, all right? Anyway, there's no time to lose. It's in your hands now. Please help the abbot. Can't divulge too much information, but let's just say I'm onto something big here at the Abbey and I can't leave. I can only reiterate what I told you before. There's just one way to get to the island where Abbot Francisco lives. Leave the Abbey as if you were going to Sibyl to and turn immediately left along the river. Just follow the river along, keeping the Abbey in view. Underground passage leading there to the small island where the Abbot's resident is. I'm told you can open the entrance to the room with the Templar's ring. Captain Marcello's chambers. Captain is engaged in business at the moment. No one is permitted to enter this room. Templars are said to have begun as a collection of mounted guardsmen. They are employed to protect large churches and keep the peace at important religious services, and also had an eternal grudge with the Assassin Order. Our predecessors were spectacular to behold. The Isu, flaunting the majesty of the church and the glory of the goddess. But they were nothing more than puppets, of course. To Abstergo, dude. Abstergo's the actual endgame. The Templars of today are very different. We are the knights of the goddess, an elite order of warriors admired by all. How have we still not seen Assassin's Creed Mirage, dude? That shit is in like two or three months. We haven't even seen that. That's weird. That's weird to me. Yeah, isn't it in March? Or is maybe it's April? It might be April. Then it's not so weird. Oh, it's just 2023, actually. They don't even, I thought it was, like, coming up. I think I imagined that. I think I dreamt it, Chad. <laughs> just, just the year, 2023. So it's probably... Probably still a bit. Francisco enjoys a good laugh. Apparently, he sometimes invites traveling performers to his residence on the quiet to entertain him. Ever since I made eye contact with that jester, I just haven't been feeling right. Still, that's by the by. Now then, what was it I was here for again? Hmm, pity, I can't seem to remember. Jester here just a moment ago. He'd come to visit the Holy Father. There was something rather eerie about him, actually. Hmm, you're looking for him? Who, that Jester? Oh, no, no. Only those with the express permission of Captain Marcello can come through here. Abba Francisco is a very kind and gentle soul. He would agree to see anyone who requested an audience with him. That's why we're here, to protect him from the riffraff. He's too polite to turn away. Now clear off. Sawed off!
probably put a spell on him a little bit, maybe? Because he totally, like, made that guy forget what he was there for. That priest. Well, maybe not. Save it up. Definitely Lord of the Rings vibes. Some Saruman shit. Totally missed Showtime, Sam. Way more than that in not too long. I'm investing in the future. I hope they put two towers in return of the king out. Dude, just remaster those. And I know it's probably not going to happen, but a third Shadow of Mordor game, dude. Just one more. Fuck. Get out of hand, dude! Dingalings!
much did I want? 80. Dude, play the game. Pay the fee. I'll pay it. I won't save scum it. Sorry, question. Nice. Just spent. It's an intense fight, dude. The ding a -lings. Oh, shit. Yo, I don't know if we can take this freak. Yo, no quarrel! Not right now. No quarrel right now. At this moment. Swordsman. 
Flame Slash. Always a good one. Always a good one to have in any game. Flame Slash? Yup. Keeping the Abbey in view, dude. Just follow the river. Alright, I trust him. Dude, we need a hatchet, man. Those? Too many to count, Mr. Showtown. Too many to count. I already went over it. I played a lot of the DS ones. But as we learned earlier, heavy Japanese series, dude. Not a lot. Of Western love for a while. We'll Dragon Quest. Hopefully, one day we get some remasters and re releases and whatnot, you know? Let everyone play. PS3 games on PS Plus or remasters of them? I mean, just like them natively not streaming, you know what I mean? However, that needs to happen. The streaming PS3 games ain't it. They just ain't it. is inscribed with some kind of crest. The crest appears to be the same as that on Angelo's ring. There appears to be a hole for inserting the ring. Insert the ring? Huber pushes the Templar's ring into an impression in the stone marker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Running out of herbs. Staff. It's like a third of our stack. A little more than. Pretty nuts, so. Check, give me a minute. Just a little break. Just a bit outside. How you doing, chat? How the hell are you? Nice and cozy, a lot of cozy. Everyone's cozy. That is what I like to hear. That is exactly what I like to hear. bombing to Dongos. I feel your pain. I'm just cheating right now, looking at a few recipes. No drama. Yeah, I've beat it more than once. So I wish I wish I just had like the clear numbers or anything. It's all kind of all the guides are just like so old, like game facts and stuff. It's funny. Yeah, <sighs> oh, yeah we're just good. I don't like to get. Too bogged down in the details. You know. It's 
That's when it can stop being fun sometimes. When you, uh, when I obsess over like every little thing. So, I try to like explore. Like I'm very thorough. But if I miss something, like so be it. You know? I like to think I'm pretty damn thorough. Henry David Thoreau. Associating use of knowledge among panelists. <laughs> Recently took down my really old game facts guides. Jeez. It's easy to be thorough in these games. Sarah Knight, what up? Sarah Knight, how long have you been here? I missed ya. Just recently, I see it. Morning, everyone. Alright, what up, Sarah? What's up, Zio? Chillin'. About to do another big. Dungeon, dude. We are just about. That's why the break right now. That's why just a few minute break. The next one is heavy duty. Difficulty spike. So that's why I'm thinking. I, you know, the plan. The plan is. The plan is this. The plan is to enter the dungeon. Go through like all of it, trying to find loot. Hopefully we find something. So we don't have to craft, and then we'll know if we need to craft the staff. So we're gonna try to clear everything. Loot and pillage it. Yeah, Mr. Robot. Was God tier for sure. Bonsoir, Elliot. Alright, I'll be right back. And then we're gonna hit this dungeon. Intense.
Yep. Hey, no chat. Just asked you that. Well, here we go. I just cannot shake. Can't shake it. Final Fantasy X. Came out in 2001, dude. So, yeah, it's, a good, it's a good amount of years before Dragon Quest VIII. That's a good amount of years. Bag of laughs. Suddenly attack. Of course they do. Already taking hits. Stealing my mana. Good night, Shawnee D. Feel better, dude. Heal slimes. First and foremost. First priority, we need a map. Skeletal Warriors! Oh my god. They suddenly attack. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Hang in there, Jessica. So I was just thinking, we'll try burning them next. Big payday. 
Hmm. All right. Just getting our feet wet. Any loot. Haha. <laughs> Dude, mimic incoming. Fuck! We might be dead. We might be dead, dude. I'm not even joking around. I, I'm not kidding. This is this is dire. This is dire. Alright, not that. Not terrible. Not terrible. Not terrible. They're pretty nasty, though. They can- they can crit. They can crit the shit out of you. Dude, give us the hatchet, man. I must have, like, you know what it probably was, Chad? I'm not even joking around. I feel like that thing must have killed me once or twice as a kid. And maybe one of the times I lost a ton of progress. So that's why I was like, I give it respect. Map. Map in the locked chest. Bold move. They're telling you. They're like, yo, you gotta have it by now. See though, Chad. I'm ready. I'm ready for like a new continent or like island. Like you go to some island. Diary. Dear Diary, the life of a monk is Spartan and me mara meager? Meager? Spartan and meager? I cannot bring myself to throw anything away no matter how worn or worthless it may be. Yesterday I sewed an old and worn out bandana to a bandit's grass skirt I had lying around. You know what? It turned out better than I thought. It seems obsessively squirreling old things away it has its advantages. Bandit, do we have those? We have those ingredients. Monk 
Ghost Diary. Five people died yesterday, two more today. The disease consumes its victims with terrifying speed. Where is it coming from? Is it being spread by humans or rats or something else? Nobody knows. Only one thing is certain. There is no cure. The plague has turned our once peaceful abbey into a living hell in the blink of an eye. Is the goddess testing us? Or is this a punishment for our sins? I don't know. The only thing I'm sure about is that I have lost many brothers today and I will lose more tomorrow. Umbrella will pay. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. You're gonna lock your door on me? Nope. Oh, 
great. Okay, go. God, I click on hell so easily. All in on these bastards. Die, you bastards! God, they attack fast. Oh my god. Spells yeah, I can't even cast spells, dude. Shit. Too, dude, just clear. Yep, yep. first. That was on me. Prioritize. It's a wizard! He licks it! One bad fight. We are solid on cash. Might be time for a wizard staff, dude. 1300, though. We're gonna clear the dungeon first. I believe we can do it. I believe we can do it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it was a cypress stick. And a grass skirt. It was a bandana. It was a bandana. Let's try it out. Eleven, really good easy place to get into the series. Super good easy nice place to get in. Veronica wins again! We looked it up, Ninja Kun. Uh, details soon. Says Yuji Hori. Details soon. That was like two, three weeks ago. So probably early, like January, maybe. Maybe they'll announce something. Soon in their terms could also mean like four months. You know? To them, that's soon. But we'll see. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, when was the last direct? When was the last one? September, damn. So yeah, it's been a minute. Taste with their feet, is that true? Put down a movie or sign.
Humanity! Humanity and- yeah, Dude, we need Axes of Evil now. Right now. Look at that. 30 and 30. Look at that split. That feels nice. Axe fighter. Landing crits, dude. Crits with an axe. My favorite thing in gaming. He's playing cheese. I'll take it. Mummy boy. Free hits. Good axes in Blood Origin, nice. I'll be on the lookout. Can't wait. Kind of sours it though, man. Henry Cavill bouncing. It's a real bummer. Just really sours the whole enterprise in my mind. But I'll still watch it and enjoy it. But it's definitely a bummer. It's recasting Geralt? What? Honestly, I hope they just like kill Geralt off. Fuck it. You know, your show has already had some deviations and is weird. Kill Henry Cavill off as Geralt, dude. Take him out. Take him out. Because honestly, dude, if, it, if it's just, uh, like, no offense to anyone, dude. Liam Hemsworth, cool, whatever. Like, if it was Keanu Reeves, dude, I'd still be like, what the fuck? So, yeah. Just kill him off. Harold's cousin, Harold. <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah, I hope they kill him off. Anonymous <laughs> Carol. CD project. <laughs> some kind of some kind of comparison there. It's a dead end, dude. Nothing. Not a damn thing. It's a different girl every episode. That'd be so funny. Sick. 
Siri Jam. Damn it, three seasons of Witcher? That's like a lot, you know? It's like, damn, you were close to maybe finishing this off. It's probably gonna start running, rubbing up against the game here, like season four time, you know? the direction of where it was going. Which, you know, if you watch last season especially, some pretty severe deviations. TV show you're afforded the runway usually, you know, if you're successful and you get to have multiple seasons. To adapt the shit right. A movie changing dramatically, I totally get. Because, like, yo, we gotta tell this big ass thing in, you know, two hours, whatever. But a show? You have like 30 hours. Really weird Witcher change, dude. I wish I could talk about it, but it's such a spoiler. It's like crazy. Metal slime sighted, chat. Uh, I'm very excited for Last of Us. I told my mom tonight. I told my mom. I was like, yo, mom. Can you watch Last of Us with me? It's one of my favorite video games ever, and this will be a way for you to experience the story. She was like, hell yeah, let's do it. I'm like, right, but the beginning is going to be really intense. So be warned. She's like, all right. <laughs> All in. Let's get a little. Let's start that process. Magic Staffer. <laughs> I mean, I hope, I hope not, dude. Like, I 
I'm gonna go see movies with our family members that have sex scenes. Like, it's like, whatever. You know. JRPGs when your characters are like different levels. I don't know why I always like that. I like when they all level up separately. Definitely. Makes them all feel like individuals, you know? Okay, there it is! Walking corpse. Yo, flame slash. That was sick, dude. That was cinematic. I could honestly see the entire first episode of Last of Us. Being Joel and like Sarah and that stuff. I could see it. I could see it. I could totally see it. But also not. Also, they could also feed you that stuff throughout. There's a couple ways they could do it. You know, cause cause maybe they wanna get into the post-apocalyptic. Like I could I could see him wanting to get the normies on board quickly by like having the mission start in episode one like joel has a package to deliver and that is ellie i could see that you know getting to that quickly so people know people are like oh, okay the bond here these characters got to get somewhere like i'm invested in that behind the door, dude. Ready. It was ready to go. Nope. Nine? 
Nine? I gotta fact check it. I'm sorry. I trust you, but I gotta fact check this. I gotta fact check this. Too many. You think it'll be a double premiere then? Double up? Ten according to we got conflicting reports. Wow. That's a lot. They wanna keep that conversation going, dude. This sh that show's going. Nine? Dude, that changes my entire perception of the whole show. Wow. Yeah, that means the whole first episode will, I think, is gonna be prequel shit. You know? That whole first one. S whole second one is setting up him and Tess in the, in the post-apocalypse. Maybe by like episode two they get out. End of two. That's a lot. That is so much runway. Can I craft anything good? What do we got? What can we do here? We got a boomerang? What the hell can that get us? That, that blows my mind, chat. Oh, can we all have to dig into this at some point? It's it's a lot. It's a lot. one we get on zoom immediately the absolute second it is over Last of Us would be like, I guess I always just equated it to uh, limited series, you know? But I guess they're probably gonna do more seasons. Because limited is usually six, you know? certain actors who like play the pop culture game well and just like know what things to choose and be in or try to be in 
Pedro Pascal, dude. He knows what's up. He knows what projects to attach to. Played the game. I think they talked about that. I wouldn't expect. I wouldn't expect that. Wow, so that's super hardcore. <laughs> Do you think Henry Cavill likes <laughs> Last of Us? time and we'll attack that freak. That freako down there. Arctic. Happy Boxing Day. What is Boxing Day? Is it when you like take all the Christmas boxes out? What is Boxing Day? Fill me in. Hide in a box like snake. Nice. You box someone on the street. Winner takes all. Nice. Premier League is back. Is what boxing day is. Sick.
Fox Day, because in the old days, people would give money to the poor and poor foxes at church. Nice. Love that lore. Love some positive lore. That's good. Seems positive. Giving out cash, dude, to the needy. That's good. Dungeon one sword. But it'll work with what you got. damage. Not using any mana. ports or whatever or is it the classics like dragon warrior like the nes or whatever the mobile ones okay hey, that's cool 10 yeah not 10 definitely not 10 definitely not 10 10 in japan yeah yeah 10 offline edition not announced for the West, annoyingly. I 
Alright, this is a full on showdown. So much pain! So much sorrow! Why does my goddess remain silent? How long must I languish in misery? We served you so faithfully, yet we died in agony. That terrible plague consumed my beautiful Abby. Oh, the memory, the pain, so much pain! And now you shall taste for a moment the agony I have endured for an eternity. But fear not, for you shall be saved by the blissful peace of death. Getting strong uh, Cobra unit vibes there, no doubt. Alright, uh, let's get that going. Let's get shit going. Hatchet man! We like to gamble though. We like to gamble. But you gotta gamble on the hatchet man.
more turn, one more turn. One more turn. Come on, Jessica, hang in there, dude. Sweet victory. The last of your last cradling in your blessed arms. Crazy HP and MP are fully restored. We survived. It wasn't pretty, but we lived. We got another boss. And even Metal Slash. You still have a, have a hell of a time. It's tough. Tough kills. I remember grinding the shit out of Metal Slimes in Dragon Quest XI specifically, post game. Cycle them in and out. I remember Silvando has some really fucking important moves. Dude, everyone is so good. Eric has some crazy single target damage. 
Who is he? A jester. The abbot, someone, please save him. Let me stop and read some books. The church and religion here, including the history of Myrla Abbey, chanting made easy, and passage to Neos. Puns, the fire of my youth, it seems to have been written by Abbot Francisco. Ever since I was a young lad, nothing has excited me so much as the creation of puns. I created a training regimen by challenging myself to come up with five new gags and ten new puns every day. This book is the fruit of my efforts. It represents my comedic blood, sweat, and tears. into a bar. Ouch! P.S. I deserve a feather in my cap for that one. This gives a new recipe. Feathered cat. Hairdo. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. What sinister presence lingers in the air? And who are you? Did you want to speak with me? There they are! It's them! You'll be damned for trying to take Abbot Francisco's life! What on earth? What, what's going on? Francisco, Captain Marcello, at your service, as always. Ah, Marcello. Tell me, what's happening? There has been a breach of security. security. breach. Many of the guards have been seriously wounded. What? I feared you might be in danger, so I came immediately. And sure enough, we've caught these criminals. He has Lucius Malfoy They've been loitering arms. around the Abbey since midday. It seems we were just in time. Is that actor? I thank the goddess that you're safe. I didn't like that actor, dude. What's his name? He's in the Patriot. Wait, these people are no criminals. Please, just Holy Father. Isaac, dude, yeah. They were caught red-handed. Look into their eyes. See their pure hearts. These people are guilty of Look nothing. into their eyes, see their pure hearts, dude. Kingdom Hearts vibes. Bonds. Very good. But we must find out what they were doing here in your residence so late at night. At the very least, let us ascertain that. Please. <laughs> you really are a warrior, Marcello. Very well. If you must. Thank you, Holy Father. So, shall we go? Creepy look, dude. That smile.
Now look here! We ain't done nothing wrong! Yeah! We told you! It was your man who asked us to check up on the abbot! What right have you to keep us here? The abbot is too forgiving. If you're innocent, then who attacked my men? I, on the other hand, am not so forgiving. You won't fool me, so don't try. You're confessing that... Who is it? You sent for me, Captain. Come in. I have a question to ask you. But there's something else first. We've just arrested these intruders in the Abbot's residence. They were attempting to take his life. They wounded six of my men. Lies. Very well. The problem is this. My guard is watertight. I make sure of that. There's no way for an outsider to get inside the abbey. Unless, of course, they have inside oh, help. What are you insinuating? And would you believe it? When we searched their possessions, we found this ring. Templar Angelo, where is your ring? Show it to me now. If you have it. Got him, dude. Right where he wants him. Phew. <laughs> it's turned up. Or Thank the he? goddess. What? Someone stole it from me at the pub. And it looks like they're about to learn that crime doesn't pay. Stole it? What? You little Yingus, bro. We've no use for a ring like that. He set us up. I should have known better than to believe a single word from the mouth of a filthy cheat like you. I have nothing further to say. You can find me in my chambers. Wait! We're not done here. Fine. I'll deal with him later. First things first. Put a sand scouter on this guy, dude. You've wasted enough of my time. Don't try my patience. I want answers. What did you plan to do to the abbot? Confess. <sighs> How many times have we got to tell you, eh? We ain't got nothing to confess! What is it now? We found a suspicious monster loitering outside oh, no. the abbey. What? What kind of monster? <laughs> so rude. Ouch! Ugh. What the devil do you think you're doing? You, youngest Jessica! What are you all doing in here? You were gone for such a long time, I was getting rather worried. So I just decided to come and look for you when this... <laughs> So, this monster is a friend of yours, then. So much for your pure hearts. What's wrong with you? Unhand me at once, you insolent ruffian! Get him off me! You are in league with the monster. You may have deceived uh... Abbot Francisco, but you don't fool me. It was the monster who ordered you to steal the ring and infiltrate the abbey, was it? You cursed, cursed heathens! Thought you could scare people by killing the Brad loves this kind of character. Make them question their faith, and then move in and take control. I <laughs> bet Brad loves Martin's cello. I mean, gotta talk to him about him. Take these monstrosities to the cells. Come dawn tomorrow. I will have you. Jesus! Tortured. Perhaps then you will realize the gravity of the sins you have committed. Torture time! <laughs> Until sunrise, then. In that case. It's lost it, dude. There's no point screaming. We've got to use our heads and get out of the cell. Can you think of anything? Bleeding or we ain't done nothing. Let us out of here. 
no monster and a king. Blast every one of those Templar twerps. out of here, dude. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you're all looking so well. Ah, come here, you! Now, now, control your temper. I must apologize for before. Perhaps you will accept this as conciliation. Conciliation? What are you up to? The guard upstairs might hear if we talk now. I'll explain later. Come on. Follow me. The guard's up ahead. Right, no one make a sound, okay? It's jailbreak. I seasoned his supper with a generous pinch of sleeping powder. Classic. Perfect. It worked. Sleeping like a baby. Okay, through here. Right, we're safe in here. You can talk again now. Good. Tell us what's going on. What ordeal do you intend to put us through next, hmm? Like I said, I'm sorry about before. If I hadn't lied about the ring, Marcello would have been onto me like a shot. Like a shot. And I haven't got anywhere else to go if I'm chucked out of here. But I came to get you out, didn't I? <sighs> Come on, don't be angry. Anyway, let me show you something you won't have seen before. Well, what is it? There. And that's real blood on those spikes you know. If I were to throw you in there and shut the door, your whole body would be spooked. I could make you holier than that without so much as getting my hands dirty. Not bad. Eh? <laughs> Can you hear me out there? There's a secret passage in here! Like I said, not bad, eh? What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done, and then you come and help us. Sorry if I've confused you. The people here have a bit of a trust issue with me. I couldn't stick up for you before. It would have backfired. The man who interrogated you, Marcello, he hates me. That's why I had to let him put you in the cells before I could help you. That's all well and good, but you still don't know us from Adam. Ain't you worried about us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? True, I don't know anything about you. And I wasn't there when you were caught. But I do know you saved the abbot's life. Because just before you were brought to the interrogation room, the sinister feeling that's been lingering in the air went away. I must thank you for that. I'm not so ruthless that I'd hang you out to dry. And besides, I couldn't stand by while there was a lady in trouble. Marcello's a rather talented inquisitor, you know. Trunks. It's just trunks. This leads outside. Yeah, they got the game first, but they paid the price because we got the Dio and the Symphony. 
Were you lonely without me? There, there. It's all right. We'll leave this horrible place at once. The princess and I will go on ahead. Make sure you're not too far behind. Half a two. Half a two. Princess. Like one of the best ever. Whatever. Come on, let's go. Let's replay it. You'd have to work pretty hard to mess up your it's escape from here. Anyway, I'm sorry for all the trouble. So, this is farewell. May the goddess watch over you on your journey. Half-Life 2, Episode 2. Shit. The bridge. Is the whole abbey on fire? Surely that jester didn't come back again. Oh no. I've got to save the abbot. Save it up. Last of Us 3, a long time. But uh, I think the multiplayer will, will scratch that itch. Who's on the multiplayer? Next year. Next year. Peel it back. Peel it back. Do not panic, it's just a small fire in the kitchen. We'll soon have it out. You can see the flames from Simpleton. Hope Angelo's alright. Oh yeah, she was the one on the roof. Going on a trip to buy some stock, so I thought I'd come and pray for safe passage. This isn't exactly a good start, is it? Have you heard some traveler went and set fire to the alley? It wasn't from around here, of course. Everyone just ran off inside a moment ago. Something happened. Marcello. Huh. That sinister presence again. No, not sinister. It's worse than that. It's pure yeah, it's, uh... As if all the demons of hell had gathered to feast upon. Abbot Francisco! Make item. 
I don't know. We're about to find out, chat. We're about to find out. Dude, sick shot! It's locked from the inside. Marcello? Are you in there? Damn, damn! It's no good! It won't budge. You lot, did you follow me here? Doesn't matter. I need your help. Just one last time, all right? We're going to have to do this by brute force. There might just be enough of us. The door's locked from the inside. We've got to break it down. Come on, everyone together. Yangus, dude, take point. Yeah, dude, Yangus up front. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so perfect. Come on, stay with it. Tell me what happened. Thank the goddess you've come. Help the abbot. Who on earth did this? He's dangerous. Captain Marcello is in trouble. Ah! Upstairs. Come on, let's go. You're with me, right? Hell yeah. Got your back, dude. Angelo. Oh! The jester! You must save the abbot. Yeah, if this is it, if it, if, dude, we're fucking so dead. You have to grind for like 10 hours. This is GG. This is top 10 video game roadblocks, chat. That's what this is. Unless, I think maybe you fight him later, though. I keep misremembering. Yo, Saruman. Marcello! Saruman moves. It was all that jester. I couldn't stop him. He's strong. <coughs> but you can't let him. This is an order. Templar Angelo, get the abbot to safety. <laughs> now, nothing stands in my way. Ugh. You dare lay a finger on Abbot Francisco. Don't worry, Marcello. I will be fine. I have given myself to the goddess. If it is her wish, I am prepared to die. But, wretched sinner, if that is not her wish, nothing you can do will ever harm me. The goddess will protect us all from Goss. whatever evil you can muster. Well, well, what faith you have. Let's put it to the test, shall we? Wait, 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 wait! Come, blimey! It's been a while, Dual Magus. Ah, if it isn't King Toad, looking as small and ugly as ever. Shut up! Return my daughter and I to normal at once! Do you realize what you've done to my castle? It seems fate and your benevolent goddess are both on my side. <laughs> yes, such a pity. Poor Francisco. <laughs> my work here 
Dude, this is classy. This is epic. This is an epic. This is an epic mood right now. This title, like, title card vibe, dude. This text, text card. Slipped away into the darkness. Or somehow managed to escape and explain to everyone the events of the previous night. You were in the party, we're cleared of any suspicion. That's good. We're, we're cleared, chat. <laughs> Jessica feels it, dude. She's she's distressed. Everyone at the funeral felt a terrible sorrow at the loss of the abbot, and the heavens, too, wept tears of grief. Fuck. The rain continued until dawn. The start of a new day. New day. Ah, you're awake. I realize I said it before the funeral. But I just wanted to assure you that everyone knows you're innocent. If it weren't for you, Captain Marcello could well have been killed too. We're all in your debt. Anyway, the Templar Captain has summoned you to his office. See you later then. Don't forget. Morning, Gov. Looks like Domegus gave us the slip again, eh? And all them people dead. I can't believe it. Couldn't sleep at all last night. Ah, oh, curse Domegus. I don't know, I just don't feel like doing nothing now. I can't be bothered. So what is he trying to do? Kill as many innocent people as he can? Veronica wins again. Hardware limitations, Lubro. Hardware limitations. Straight up. Because, like, animating them, like, getting all that. More money. Alright, chat, BRB.
I'm waiting for you. Hurry up. Pray now, wrap up pretty soon, Jack. Ah, there you are. I trust you slept well. King Trode has explained everything. I apologize for having doubted you. Unless we get to the casino. <laughs> Dual Magus is the true culprit. In the name of the goddess, we must strike down that diabolical jester. But I cannot leave here now. As the new abbot, I have much to do. I must be here to guide my people. Sir, I was wondering, according to what King Trode tells me, you are all pursuing Dulmagus. So I have a proposal. I would like my brother Angelo to accompany you on your quest. Brother. Brother. I thought you said you wouldn't have a rule breaker as a brother. <laughs> Quiet. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Angela, you are the only one we can spare at the moment. Everyone else here has duties to fulfill. Only you are without such responsibilities. I'm useless, you mean. No need to beat about the bush. Fine, I understand. You've made yourself perfectly clear. I will leave the Abbey. I will travel with these people. And I will avenge the Abbot's murder. Blood feud. Hey man, Jessica. <laughs> I'll be waiting by the carriage with Medea then. Hell yeah, slot knot. 46 months, love and respect. Yeah, the wheel of time was sick. This is a map of the world. If you're going to catch Dulmagus, I'm sure you'll find it indispensable. Consider it world a map. for having doubted you and your friends. Please. World map. Very well then. I entrust Angelo to your care and wish you well on your journey. Written by Abbot Francisco, many centuries ago, individuals called great sages walked the earth, serving as guides and mentors for the people of the world. According to legend, each of these great sages wore a garment called the Sage's Robe. They say these robes were made by combining a magical robe with a scholar's cap by some secret method. If one were able to discover a way to combine these two items, a Sage's Robe would be the result. spring issue of a magazine called We Love Our Weapons. Who doesn't love the boomerang for its ability to strike multiple enemies at the same time? Still, complaints abound about the low attack power of the basic model. We put our heads together to solve the problem. After months of research, we can proudly introduce the reinforced boomerang. It's so simple, all you need to do is use alchemy to combine a boomerang with an appropriately pointy object. Go on, give it a try. Something pointy. Francisco's death must be avenged. In the name of the goddess, we must bring down the iron fist of justice upon that infernal jester. A 
Angela will prove to be an asset to your party. I shall pray for your safe passage. Let's go. Yeah, dude, real time. I'm having a real time season two, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Fantasy fans, dude. Eaton. Lord of the Rings. Game of Thrones. Wheel of Time. Witcher. Fantasy fans, eat. Hello again. Well, it looks like we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I hope you don't mind me coming along. I'm not doing this because Marcello ordered me to. I'm doing it for Abbot Francisco. He was like a father to me. That jester, Dulmagus. He can't get away with this. And this place. I'll be glad to escape. It's no hardship being asked to join you, believe me. And anyway, I promised you, didn't I? I said I'd reward you for helping me. So, Jessica, from now on, I'll protect you. I won't leave your side. Consider me your personal bodyguard. Sure, Romeo, in your dreams. <laughs> Okay, let's hit the road. Let's hit it. It's pretty detailed though, actually. It's pretty nice. But it is limiting. Alright, fuck. What's the difference between red and blue, I wonder? Red is... Like a cave, maybe? Blue is a town? Maybe? Anyone know? Blue versus red on the map? I would take that answer. Yeah, Dungeon Town, that makes sense. It makes sense. Alright, let's, uh, let's cut through. Leads us. Right, it's not sweet, 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 sweet. Thanks, sir. Yeah, sweet. All right. All right, let's just follow the road. Do want to find some loot though? Always. Angelo. Party of four, dude. We are so much stronger now. Look at that. Full power. The full fellowship has assembled. I always love just different party dynamics. Like, I love when it's just... The hero and Yangus, I love when it's them and Jessica, and I love when it's all for them. Sir.
that when I was coming in attack. No damage. Even Angelo is level 12? Dang, dude, I feel like Jessica going down there a couple times hurts. I feel like she should be 13 by now. There's so many rogue chests out there. services to monsters. What impudence! You're even more uncouth than that of Oaf Yangus. Being in your sorry company makes me look all the more dignified. Now wait a minute, Granddad. It's about time I left the Abbey, really. Far too many rules and regulations and not enough fun for my liking. Wouldn't mind getting to know the delightful Jessica more intimately, too. And of course, there's that business of avenging the Abbot's death. There's still plenty of places we haven't explored on this continent. Dolmegus must be here somewhere. You know, Hubert, it's not just Alistair's death that needs to be avenged, it's the deaths of everyone Dolmegus murdered. We've got to stop him for all their sins. Dude, Jessica holding it down with the mission, dude. Not, like, just all in on taking out Dolmegus. You know, apart from the Abbey, there's also a big town and a castle on this continent. They're both a fair old way away, mind. We should get some shut-eye at the inn before we get going. FF16 is still on PS4 though, right? That'll be cross. Where are the chests? This is what happens when you get greedy. PS5 only, that's sick. Damn, FF16, dude, you're gonna be a showpiece. Final Fantasy is always that budget. It's always a showpiece, dude. Mainline, 16. You're gonna smell the money when you boot that game up. You're just gonna smell cash. Gotta be a couple hundred 
mill. Gotta be. There it is. Humanity. Just a little bit. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. We need axes of evil badly. Badly. We're desperate for it. Axe master. Attack power increases by 10. Humanity. He's considerate. A considerate human being. That's all we ask. Share magic. Dude, jolly. Share magic. Just give a little love of hero. Give a little of Jessica. Let me recklessly going out here, dude. There's nothing. There's nothing. Dingalings, get out of hand. Yeah, we got a party of four now, that helps. I used to have the Dragon Quest 8 strategy guide. I wish I had that, dude. That'd be so sick. The hard copy. Dragon Quest 8 strategy guide. Remember strategy guides, Chet? Do they still make hard copy strategy guides? Is that a thing? Is that even a thing anymore? Like, can I buy... An Elden Ring strategy guide? There's gotta be one, right? Two books. Nice. Damn. That's jolly. Good vibes. Yeah, no quarrel with any beasts just yet. So tempting. journey 25 bucks for the Dragon Quest 8 dude I had it I wonder I wonder if there's no way I still have it I got rid of all those damn I remember I had the original Super Mario Bros. 3 strategy guide and it was amazing I used to just look at that that book dude just look at it skim through it
There it is. We needed that. All in still. Get to 30 just instantly. Didn't even get a move from that. Holy shit. Investment. Long term investment. Coming up to a little port town. Little port town. Looking off in the distance for a chest. Feeling like we're just passing them by. Almost want to go back in here, dude. Isn't that tempting? Isn't that just too damn tempting? What's back here? Oh, so rude. For the list of items, dude, it's so clean. The way they lay them all out. You can just see all the items, dude, the recipes. Man, what is back here, dude? I'm too curious. I'm too fucking curious. Woodlands. Hell Hornets. U.S. guy. Oh, it's just online? Dude, Sarah. Sarah Knight. Wow. Most clutch thing, dude, yes. Hell yeah. Wait a sec, this just, no. False alarm, maybe. I think this is just the instruction manual. Actually, yeah, I think this is just the instruction manual. So sick, though, dude. So nice. This one, yeah, maybe this one.
one looks different than I had, maybe. Damn, 238 pages? That is... That's a lot. That is so many pages. I just want to find the recipes. That's it. Here we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so nice. Page like 40 plus. Yup, yup. So nice. Thanks, chat. Clutch! Gonna make some sick shit next time. Alright, yeah, we just looped around here. One big loop. Lagging behind with the weapon, the copper sword. Not great. Still on, still on course. Yeah, we gotta get up to that. Dock. Dock area. Slime night height. Harsh. Yeah, we'll make a weapon next time. Next time. I'm gonna dig into that. Those recipes. Scope it out. So fun. Love that. Just like looking at recipes. It's just like, hmm. Yeah, hmm. I'm gonna go for this. Alright, where do I get this ingredient? So, Alright. It's fun. It's fun. Dude, where are the chests? That's what I want to know. That's something I won't look up. You gotta find that chest. Oh shit. Yo. around. Good XP. Get loot 
Heat drops. Feels good. See something up here. Here we go. A little farm. It's gonna be kind of feeling bows. Magic though, eh. I don't like the sound of that. Powerful demonic swords. I mean, it's the same as our hero though. They don't like the overlap, you know. Having to get like double sword action. Fisticuffs might be fun. Fisticuffs might be really fun. Are there fisticuff weapons though, or do you just fight unarmed? Like, can that actually be viable? Can fisticuffs actually be strong? In Dragon Quest 8? I, I don't know. Yeah, I love the description. I don't know, dude. Should we check the guide? <laughs> Should we consort consult the guide? What does it say about fisticuffs here? Increases Angela's ability to automatically dodge attacks. You get that. Knuckle sandwich, 35. 35 points, knuckle sandwich, inflicts 150% damage. No tension can be used for it. She's 150%. For 2 MP. Seems good. Harvest moon. The greater the number of enemies, the less damage per enemy. More powerful defend? More powerful version of Harvest Moon. That does not seem good. Yeah, that does not seem good. I'm rocking bows. I'm rocking those bows. For Jones. This one's for you, Jones. Can't look at a bow ever in my life now and not think of Brandon Jones. I never will. If I see a bow, I'm thinking of Jones. My granddaughter Emma works as a, as a maid at the castle. She's a lovely, hardworking girl. She's not been able to take any holiday for these past two years now. I do miss her visits. Hmm, the way to the castle? Just follow the path to the east and you'll come to it eventually. Oh, we don't often get visitors here. Are you on your way to the castle? Well, I don't mean to speak out of turn, but I'd turn back if I were you. It'll be a wasted journey. Some Disney vibes right here. Mini metal! Tail? What 
was I rocking? Oh, the ring, right? He took his ring back. Ha ha ha. Two agility, five wisdom. That's perfect for Jessica, dude. Perfect. And Angelo needs something. How about a shield? Can he use this? Yep, nice. It's better than nothing. Silk robe. Just to be sure, just want to see. Yeah, nice. Gains. Getting those gains, chat. Minor gains. Every gain is a gain. Every point matters. What else we got? Helmet. I don't think Angelo has a helmet. I think this bandana plays. Bandana plays. Cannot be equipped. Hero only, dude. The bandana. Chill. Seems good. So we need to get Angelo a helmet. version is different. It's complicated. I like the original. Right, it's, uh, it's complicated. Sleeping on courage a little bit. But 25, that seems like a nice little landmark there. Nice. Expert swordsman. Attack power. Yes. Dude, get that milk. Always love this one. It's an inn and a church, right? Can you sleep here? See the magic. I think our hero again. You know, we're casting those heels. Jessica's about to get paid, dude. When she gets a staff, she's gonna have so much mana. She's 
gonna have a ton. this one yeah just like on the road stopping Like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Maybe it would help to get it off your chest, hmm? And not that I want to force you, mind. Oh, I don't know. Maybe things will never be right between us. He, Marcello, will never forgive me. If only we didn't share common blood, I'm sure we'd get along fine. Robert Francisco was always well known around these parts for his benevolence. He'd often take in children who had nowhere else to go. And I was one of them. My parents were well off, part of the aristocracy. But then they both died. All of a sudden I was left with no family and no money. The abbey was the only place I could go. I like how Kid Angel looks. I mean, he's just trunks. He looks awesome. Adorable little Angela. You're new here, aren't you? Are you here to join the brothers? Have you come all on your own? Oh, you must be exhausted. Where are your things? Is that all you've got? Um, my mummy and daddy died, so I don't have many things. And I don't have anywhere else to go. You sound a lot like me. But there's no need to worry. Abbot Francisco and all of us will be your family from now on. So intense, what? dude. <laughs> Let's go and find the abbot. Come on now, don't cry. Why don't you tell me your name? Angelo. You! So you're Angelo! Leave! I want you to leave! You... Leave and never come back! 
I don't ever want to see you again. So you're intent on ruining this life for me as well, are you? Marcello was the golden boy of the Abbey. He studied hard and had a bright future ahead of him. But when it came to me, his attitude wasn't so positive. I'm so sorry, child. I'm sad to say I heard that little exchange. It's so unlike Marcello to act like that. I just don't understand. Ah, I see. I always knew he had a half-brother. That's you, isn't it? You're Angelo. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Let's hope your living here will make everything all right. Now, come along with me. From today onwards, this will be your home. Why don't I introduce you to everyone? Don't say. Abbott Bond, dude. Ab Angelo and Abbott. Not long after that, I heard the full story for the first time. About how I had a half-brother who was born from an affair between my father and one of the maids. And that was Marcello. If I hadn't been born, he'd have been next in line to my father. But when I was born, Marcello and his mother were thrown out of the house with nothing to their names. She died soon afterwards. He had no one. So he ended up at the Abbey, hating me and my father for all those years. Quite a bombshell, don't you think? I was so young and innocent then, too. The whole thing hurt more than you can imagine. Still, c'est la vie. My father got off lightly. He did just what he wanted and then died, and left me to take the consequences. I'm the only one left for Marcello to hate now. In a way, I can't say I blame him, and it was probably good that we lived together. At least it gave him someone to take it all out on. It certainly added a bit of spice to the humdrum life at Maella Abbey, anyway. Angelo, I'm so... <laughs> this story's gone on long enough. Look, it's nearly daybreak. Wait! Oh, gate. This is one of my favorite games I've ever made. Alright, chat. This is probably gonna do it. GG. Nice little crunch there. Some Angelo backstory. Good place to stop. Getting there. Nice little... Nice little chunk. Dude, we got the full party assembled. Hunting down Domegis. We'll get him. We'll get him, chat. See you tomorrow. No doubt. Good momentum of Dragon Quest going. Can't squander it. Gotta keep going. Alright, chat. Love and respect. Merry Christmas. Have a great day of rest and relaxation.